Sup YouTube, it's Monday, it's squat day. We're about to squat 336 pounds RPE air. Confidence level with squats is so high right now. Such a good mindset going into this. Gonna lock the in and squat some heavy ass weight. Literally just squat down and stand up. That's all you gotta do. And that's the mindset going into it and we're gonna crush this shit. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Let's go squat a significantly large house. Alright y'all, just finished squats. I'm so proud of how far that my squats have come this year. 336 moved absolutely phenomenal. So excited to peak them next week. 347, I'm freaking coming for you. I did cramp a little bit. I think I was just a little dehydrated. I did indeed squat a significantly large house today. I have never been this confident on squats before. I don't know what's gotten into me. Vin's working that magic. And squats are usually my favorite lift to fail. Squats are on the come up. Can I get a woo woo? It's 9 in the morning, we got a spicy bench double, 232, because I did 232 last week, and moved like shit, and go for 232 again, and move it better than last week. I made weight this morning, I was 138.8, which is the exact weight that I need to be, and I'm so excited about that, so hopefully that means that I won't have to water cut, I won't have to spit, won't have to do any of that. The morning of, I'll just be able to weigh in, and eat, and not have to worry about it. Let's go bench. guys bench day did not go as planned i cramped literally every single set and 
I'm really fatigued. Prep and the cut and everything is getting to me. I had electrolytes and salt before I benched. Still just cramping constantly. My foot was cramping. My hamstring was cramping. My lats were cramping. The lower back was cramping. Literally everything was cramping. So I did 232 for two with two second pauses and I almost died. Let's just say that. The bar almost just decapitated me. I got it up nonetheless. Told Vin not to touch it. I said, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah, not so much light work, but you know, it still moved at 138.8 body weight, which is my lowest weight. 232 for a double. I'll take it. Tomorrow is going to consist of me squatting, getting my lashes did, and then resting for the rest of the day, preparing myself for the big deadlift on Thursday. So yeah, let's squat. Today is the day. I had two Pedialytes last night. I did the Hydra Boot. I got a good night's sleep. I've been drinking water. I carved up. I am ready for this shit. Controlled all the variables. I'm ready to make this shit my bitch. Just stand up. That's all I gotta do. Literally pick it off the ground and stand up. Oh, dumb bitch. Lift some heavy ass weights. I'm confident. I'm ready. I got this shit. Oh no, she didn't. Let's go deadlift a significantly large house. But you know what today does call for? The Batman glasses, of course. Who are you? I'm Batman. I'm literally Batman. It was at this moment that she knew. She fucked up. Let's get this shit. <laughs> That's weird. Two hours later. <laughs> Oh, 
just deadlifted. I fouled 402 and then I fouled 396. Just wasn't there today. My back kind of tensed up after 402. I figured I'd just try and chip my current PR, which is 392. And I went for 396 and I got it off the ground, almost past my knees, and I fouled it. Mentally, trying to cope with it gotta trust the taper I guess my body is beat up it's going through a cut it's low on calories low on carbs and pushing myself really hard I need to remember that and failure is a part of the process and you have to trust the process and just keep going you can't let failure define who you are as a lifter you have to let it build you use that failure as motivation rather than let it discourage you and that's something that I've learned over the last year of powerlifting failure is inevitable it happens to everybody. It happens often. You have to learn how to cope with it. Just learn it's okay to fail. Failure makes you stronger. It makes you work harder. And I'm going to come back and I'll hit that meet day. I got to trust that it will be there. I worked my ass off and I know I put the work in. Deadlifts definitely didn't go as I would have liked them to go. The only thing I can do is work hard, lock in, recover well. Can't let this destroy my mindset. Got bench today. Bench single at around 242. Last week it moved okay, this week we're going to move it better. I finally got my Converse so they have a little bit more grip on the bottom of the shoe so hopefully I'll be able to use. Lots of leg drop. My back is super crampy. I've been trying to drink electrolytes, drink water. I'm just overly cramping. We're going to try our best. We're going to give it our all. We're going to take what the day gives. Let's go bench. Week three is done and over with. Let's recap. Had a really good squat on Monday. Squats have been moving really well. Can't wait to peak them on Monday. Bench, giving me a run for my money this week. Had that really iffy double. I had a good 248 single at the end of the week. Triple at 232, which I almost died. Other than that, bench is feeling okay. Deadlift, you live and you learn. It's done, it's over with. Gonna keep moving forward. Hit that shit at nationals. Really focusing on recovery leading up to peaking squats and bench next week. I'm still feeling pretty good despite the circumstances. My calories are finally getting a little higher so I can eat a little more. Feeling more energized. Feeling good in that aspect. I'm almost at weight so I won't have to cut down. Feeling a little nervous. It's getting close. I can't believe it's less than two weeks away. Very excited. Just can't wait to compete again. I love competing. Stay tuned for peak week dropping next Sunday. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications if you want to see more JoyJoy Joy Fitness content.